Sarah met you. Hi, Johnny. <laughs> it's so good to see you. You too. Looking beautiful. Thank you. You're Fabulous well. gal. Uh, just came back from France, Paris, and Italy. Oh, and London. Italy and Italy, you know, world, I'm worldwide. <laughs> A little two week vacation. Oh, that's great. No, that's you work really hard, so it's nice to treat yourself. Yeah. I ask everyone the same thing to start. Okay. Why acting? I think <laughs> acting is it feels like home and it's a way of making people feel less alone and sharing those stories that would otherwise not be shared and um it just feels home. Mm. Did you, f okay, I'm gonna piggyback off. Did you feel in your life before you got into it alone, ever? I think when I was growing up, there was a sense of sometimes feeling a little bit more isolated and I would find myself through characters and their stories helped me discover parts of myself. Um, and I, and I think I've always wanted to be a part of that, but be the one to share other people's stories. Oh. Do you remember the piece, the movie, the show where, where you went, oh man. There was a French film. Of course. Of course. Um, <laughs> called Je vais bien ne t'en fais pas. Excuse me? <laughs> Je vais bien ne t'en fais pas with Ma Mélanie Laurent. And I was a little younger and I remember that film really and it's not, you know, like a Oscar nominated film, et cetera, but it's, it, yeah. it really inspired me. And ever since I was young, I wanted to act, but I just never really said anything about it. And I would always, I remember when I would be like biking, I would try to be these different characters and I just lived in different characters very often. Wow. How old were you? I was probably like 14, wow. 15. Did your parents ever notice it? No, I was okay. really shy at the time, oh. which, and it took me years to kind of say, you know what, screw it, you just come out of your shell. So it would really be my own little world that I would play in. Oh. Do you have um, brothers, sisters? I have a brother, I have a sister. My brother was really into acting, actually. He was in theater. I took theater class, but I wasn't in all the plays. And then he was very musical. He was the artsy one, and then my sister was all about drawing. And then I kind of just was very behind the scenes. Oh, so they were the out loud artists. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, mm -hmm. is it just because you were shy or did you feel in any way like, oh, that's their thing? Shy and I think a lot of it with not having the space, not to get into like family history, but the space to, to take space. Yeah. Oh, to take up space in the world. Yeah. I like that. I'm glad you finally take up space in the world. Finally, it takes a lot of work. It does take a lot of work, it really <laughs> does. Um, a lot of adversity many times, don't you find? Yeah. It's like, okay, at a certain point, it's just screw it. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna do what I gotta do. Good yeah. for you. And you're young. To find it young is... To find the passion young, and then all those experiences. There's something you said to me that I'll never forget. Oh gosh. Is, I'm always like, what's gonna come back no, at me? No, <laughs> this is good. It's, sometimes it's too soon, it's never too late. Yeah. And I think I needed a lot of life to happen to and for me to get to the point where I was ready to be like, okay, this is what I wanna do. And then not rush it, right? Work through it and take your time to discover the, the craft a little bit more and parts of yourself that have been completely closed off for so many years that you're finally ready to discover for yourself and then the characters that you dive into. And it takes time, it's steps. Yeah, and, and I definitely, yeah, I've definitely noticed a change in you, a shift. Not like crazy massive, but you have shifted because, um, you know what, I'd like to, maybe you are aware of why because you used to kind of beat yourself up. Oh, no, I can't. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, you can. And, I, and now I'm seeing somebody different, even though yeah. you look like Sarah. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you figure out for yourself? It was... If you can pinpoint it. It was through classes and 
I feel like I was holding on. So I've dealt with chronic pain mm. and I was holding on to that story, right? That defined me for so many years, that struggle. And in some ways I was bringing that to the table in the characters versus really seeing like, what's my passion? I'm here to tell a story to come, make it come to life, right? For the public. And I, I had to let go of my own story to dive into those stories and accept it and not be afraid of like, what if something good happens instead of like, what if it's bad? I was always going towards a negative uh, scenario and let it, and feeling better in my body as well with my, my pain completely mm. transformed and gave me permission to just live. And it's like, you're, you, there's that moment you're suddenly ready, but it took time. It took a year of breaking down and building and shifting and isolating and reading. And it, it took a year to get to this point today that I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Yeah. You seem light. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, in the last month, particularly, I feel it shifted. So wonderful. Did you almost give up? Yes. Many times. There's still times where I still want to give up. Well, I mean, you know, but yes, I mean, there it's was probably the normal frustration, but I mean, like seriously. Yeah. Cause I was, was worried for you at one point. Like, <laughs> When I went for an audition, I almost just gave up then. I was like, I don't know why I'm doing this. And I also didn't like the way I looked and felt, and I just felt like I wasn't seeing progress, but I didn't. And I almost gave up on classes and, you know, even headshots, all that, when I had to redo them. But now I'm more ready. And I think that feeling of what it would feel like if you do give up helps you realize that you don't want to. Once you feel like you will lose something. Oh, that's good. Oh my God. I'm just so um, proud and happy for you. Thank you. I mean, you helped a lot. You're a big part of it. I'm, I'm glad I didn't deter you. <laughs> Thank God no. I didn't deter you. You know, you, you never want that. But it's just, um, I love seeing you look so bright. Well, also the tough love helps. <laughs> Oh, it does. Yeah, this tough line. <laughs> Some people are telling me it's like, oh god. <laughs> oh, the, the honesty, right? Uh, yeah. I, I, I try. I try. You know, try. Um, where? Where? <laughs> we're kind of in the middle of a strike right now. Let's yeah. Put a timestamp on things. <laughs> what are you doing to keep yourself up artistically? And motivated. Yeah, I'm doing classes still um, once a week and yeah. uh, a lot of rehearsals. So typically rehearsals twice a week. And Good. I'm s actually keeps your mojo going. It keeps my mojo going and also still now starting to really actively pursue more auditions, um, whether it's commercials right. or submitting self tapes, uh, filming myself as well to see how I can with the rehearsals we are I often fill them film them to see how I look and how I sound because it's very different in my own head with everybody yeah. by the way yeah yeah exactly. you know you like you hear your voice in your head and then it's yeah re played back to you it's like oh my god <laughs> yeah. but class is helpful there are times where I've wanted to give up on that because mm -hmm. it's so much work yeah but I'm every time I go to the class I'm like okay I'm so happy I'm here. Awesome. Mm. I love saying that you're just keeping yourself moving. Yeah. You know, just perpetual movement. Yeah. And it's how can you not get to a better space at a certain yeah. point? Where, where would you, I've asked this of a few people, ideally like to see your career, your acting career. I would <laughs> love to be on a TV show in the next five years Yay. that has recurring seasons and then from start with TV and then from there I would want to go more into independent film and more dramas but there's something about TV that I feel works really well for me and I used to always think I fit in drama but as I've been working through different scenes and letting go of that old story I've enjoyed comedy a little bit more because of my awkwardness <laughs> so <laughs> and we love that yeah the audiences love that so like, yeah that's me <laughs> it's very honest exactly you know it's wonderfully honest do you prefer drama or comedy because I, I remember you liking drama but maybe you're discovering comedy and enjoying I like, that I like both 
I think the comedy comes easier now, mm-hmm. which I before it didn't, and the drama. There are times where it's a it's a hard space to tap back into. Yeah. Um, but I I love both, and I watch those are the two genres I watch the most. I love it. No horror, huh? No. I used to work in horror, and I, <laughs> and I work on crime, do and I just don't do want to do horror anymore. That's great. Being on set for that for months. It's pretty heavy. It's so heavy. I, my mental health got impacted, but I, oh. I, I'm, I'm impressed by people who do it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that really is a feat, and, it, and yeah. it's one of those genres that it's all, not always praised, and it's really difficult. Yeah, but it's a good way to start, because it is, like you said, such a feat. You do that, it's yeah. like anything else feels easy. Exactly. Sarah? Yes. Thank you so much, Thank you. Sarah. Yay! Twelve minutes, and that's that's kind of it.